What's up guys, next video in our replay tutorial series and now we're gonna go super deep into how you can create a more customized product section, drop downs, additional information, little tables, uh, comparison tables for, for your brand and your competitors, some of these things that are a little bit more advanced we're gonna dive into ne to next. The reason why we're doing it like this in the series is that I wanna show you all the types of modules you can do and how you actually interact and engage and, and get it done. And once you have the fundamentals in these different sections, then it doesn't matter how long you want your template to be, how long you want your landing page to be, because you now know how to do everything more or less. So that's why we're diving in. Let's go in. And as always, I'm recording myself commenting over it so that I can go a little bit faster and we can speed up the video. So we're gonna create a new section. We're gonna go into components. We're gonna add in a new container. As always, by now you should be familiar with this. Just change here so you can see what I'm writing. And we're just going to add in a little title so we can understand what we're doing here. We're going to do a text image. And we're going to just be working a little bit with the spacing here uh, in terms of what will be text and what will be images. So we're just adding in a little bit of spacing. This you already know, so I'm going to skip over it quite fast. Um, but I want a title for this section, and that's what I'm working on. I'm going to uh, speed up a little bit so we actually don't waste our time here. Uh, going to add in color and the space, all this stuff we learned in other previous tutorials, so I'm not going to go super into it. Again, our font, our title, our um, te text color, all that stuff is just being worked in. We're going to have a supplementing uh, headline, which I like to do, uh, where we go a little bit more in depth, so I'm adding in that. Design to maximize your productivity, adding in the font again. And remember that all your little uh, things that actually style are on the right and all the sort of components and sections which is more about the structure is always on the left again just want to make that clear because when you know that you always know where to look uh, in order to get things done right all right so we've got that stuff and now we actually want to go ahead and add in this uh, new container uh, we want to make sure it's containing the right one so specifically my text and image is one now I have an additional container for that container I'm going to add in here I am going to add in columns and I'll be using two columns here because I want my image on the left and then I want descriptive stuff on the right. So I'm adding in that there with a little bit of layout and visual here. So I'm gonna go down in speed a little bit here because it's important you understand this. So now we wanna grab an image for our left section which was the one of the two sections I just showed you and I'm gonna grab an image of the product. Uh, we're using proper while for our illustration here. And so you can see the image and over here will be more of a bullet points with product benefits that really sell the product well. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. Uh, again, we are just designing the template just like proper wild did. It's not that we are basically coming up with our own ideas for how this should look like. So adding in uh, names so we can understand what it is we're dealing with in each container. So see how it is two different containers because we're using two columns. That's important because if you want to ch change spacing and so on, we don't want both of them to be affected by our changes. So that's why we are dividing it up to two. And then we still have our sort of like head container that has both. So that's how we do it there. And designers will know how this works, but if you're new to it, you just have to grab your, your head around the fact that you have these containers and you have like sub containers under and you need to make sure you use the right. So now I'm using uh, images here just to create my icons and I'm gonna make it much, much smaller, wrap the content. And I'm gonna be doing a few of these. I'm gonna add a little bit of text because I wanna explain the benefits of the product. Uh, so I'm just doing that a few times here. And I think I'm gonna do it three times, three or four times, just to be able to show off what the product is, uh, what's good about the product. Like for example, here two X more caffeine than a shot of espresso. And uh, that is just, know some of the things we'll be working with here. I'm just gonna skip fast because I don't want to waste your time. So by this by this time we have a lot more content and I'm just gonna fit that correctly. So fitting it is always within the width, height area and the layout area. So those are the things you will need to work with when you fit stuff into a container. It's pretty easy because you can use the auto functions uh, when you have set it to auto here and here it will auto to the right size so that's just something you can keep in mind that will help you a lot and you can always change the layout to text to go vertical or horizontal by using the arrows here uh, forward backwards uh, and spacing columns 
out, auto layout or pack, you can click these if you want to change things easily as well. So we're adding that in there. And let's just go ahead quickly to the next area. So what you can see here is I'm duplicating it. And as you know, duplicating uh, these things is easy. So once I made one, I can right click it and duplicate it or click Control or Command D and it will duplicate them down. You can also use the traditional Command C, uh, Command B. Uh, so easy to do that as well. So we have our gaps here because obviously you want to make it look beautiful. So you want to create a little bit of gap. So you go into the gap function over here in the right corner and that's how you add in the right gap as well. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to be doing here is add the button from up here. So remember we already did the button in a previous video and we added in the interaction design. So what happens when you click on it? We added the hover state, what happens when you hover over it? So instead of just doing it uh, and creating it from scratch, you can save a lot of time by taking the button here uh, and uh, marking it up. And then you can click your command D or control D and duplicate it. And then it will appear down in your section and it will save you a bunch of time. So it will help you a lot. So that's what I'm doing right here. I just copied it and now I'm dragging it down manually. And that way I have all the, all the functionality within the button and don't need to think about it again. And it saves me a bunch of time as well. So we are almost done with the section now. I think it looks really, really clean. Obviously you want to tailor this so it's all you know the right actual um, logos and copy you don't want to have to read it the same so that's obvious just clean up the uh, spacing a little bit here and that's it just to center it you know uh, before we didn't have the right spacing here and here and here so what i'm doing here is i'm grabbing the main container of the whole area and then i'm adding in the spacing for on each side so it gets probably a line in the middle and just it makes it a little bit cleaner right So now I'm adding in a next the next section which I hinted to a little bit earlier, which is a comparison section, which you'll find right there. Comparison section, which can be great for comparing yourself to competitors, and you already have that done. So that's why Replo is so great. You don't have to start from scratch. You can you can use these things, and once you get the hang of it, you know what uh, comparisons you want. And look at this. You can have it, there's a section library for listicles, a carousel, a hero uh, banner, it testimonials, it benefits. So if you're new, I would recommend only working with the stuff and then just redesigning it, adding the right and proper spacing and not start from scratch because it's way too advanced unless you have a designer, right? So start from something here and always tailor. You can always tailor it. You can make it as, as unique as you want, right? So we just got this now. Uh, which will compare ourselves to two other brands. And by the way, this is amazing. So now we have a title here, but it doesn't have the right style. So what I can do is I can go up here and I can click copy styles, which you can do with control C uh, once you have highlighted it. And you can copy the style and then you can then click on your, your font down here and click paste style. And then what happens is all the styles automatically are over uh, transferred over to here, meaning you're saving yourself a bunch of time. So this is a super good hack for Replo, and that's something you should be doing all the time. So copy styles, paste styles, boom, done. Like we're already on to the next thing, right? It's so, so fast. And those little hacks actually do help you quite a bit. Now I'm just stylizing the, the comparison table here and in green for our brand. Again, you can see the titles are all wrong, but that will be fixed later. And then we'll be adding in five attributes that make sense for um, this brand. And then we will obviously highlight that we have all these attributes for our brand while the other brands don't have them uh, or only have some of them, which is why you will add in this section, right? Because you want to eliminate competitors. You want to eliminate fears, doubts, anxiety, which is what this table is all about. Uh, so we're adding in a green color here uh, for all the little tick icons and it's super easy so i click it i go to color i pick the the, the green and that's it and you could also take the code now or you could also use the copy uh, paste or duplicate function if you want to go that route but this is just so fast so i'm just doing it manually all right so that's it for that area now we want to add in our actual uh copy as well for the attributes because these are not relevant at all so i'm just going to be changing them one by one i'm zooming in a little bit here 
And again, you can just click on it. You don't need to be uh, fancy with it. Just click on it and go in and actually <laughs> edit the copy. Like, boom, the text. I'm going to write up what makes sense for this brand, right? Energy, duration. And then we'll just go on and on and on and on and on and on. So just going to speed it up a little bit here so we can get a little bit faster. Uh, but this, again, is super obvious. But I would definitely recommend a comparison table. It definitely help you a lot as well. We can go a little bit faster here. Uh, so, so we can get it all done. Now you got five and you can obviously, as the last thing, go in and actually style it a little bit better with the nicer colors, add in brand names, add in logos and so on. So it makes sense. You could add in the actual image of your product, which would make it even even better as well. So that's a, that's a pretty important thing to do too. Um, all right, we're almost done here. Uh, we're just styling. We're styling and making it pretty right now. That's what we're doing and that's important too. Uh, but you can get as fancy uh, as you want with this, right? Because uh, it's already good enough for it to do its purpose. Obviously, you would need to still change the name because otherwise it makes no sense. And I would also recommend adding in a little image of the actual product because it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, or you could just use the logos of the three companies you're comparing as well. Um, but again, we're just styling a little. And I've already told you so many times about how to style, so I'm not even going to go in and stop the video and, and dive in too deep here because it wouldn't it wouldn't be a good use of your time so but you can see it looks quite good already now i'm going to show you i'm going to stop here i will be showing you a review section because almost every template has reviews uh, or landing page has reviews somewhere on the page and you can actually load in your reviews from yapco or from stamped or from reviews.io whatever you're using you can actually load it in but you can also do static and some people want to use static because they want to control the sentiment and want to control what it is that's being said here. Uh, and you could also add in video reviews, which would be more custom. Always love re video reviews because they cannot be faked in the, so easily. And customers know that they, and trust it more. But for now, we're just going to show you simply how you add it in. New container, by the way, uh, which is the same principle we're using all the time. Once we have the new container, we can name it. We can write it as a review section or whatever we want to call it. Just going to do that. And then we can go into components, which is what we do after we work with containers. And we go in and we search for reviews. And look at that. So easy, man. You can go into Yapco. You can go into Looks, uh, Junit, whatever you are using. And you can drag and drop <laughs> the module in, which makes it so much easier, right? Uh, so, so I can just drop, uh, drag and drop everything in here. Uh, and there's a big chance you're using any of these, and if you're not, you can always do static, uh, which is you know star ratings, or you can make it manually with different components. So again, not really, really that difficult. You can also go into your library under reviews, and you can create this if you're not using Yapco or Stamp or whatever you're using. And you can just pick any other review modules that are already designed. Again, if you're new to designing, you're not a graphic designer, this is the gateway, this is the the shortcut because it will already be styled and then you can add in an image and a little bit of text like look at this it looks like it looks really great like i love the this one and this one actually they look good and look at that we already have everything styled centered now what i could do is could duplicate the style from up here and i could do the same for the text and duplicate it down here and then i wouldn't even have to work that hard right it's already coming in fast for me uh, but review sections are important and I want to make sure that I get everything styled. See, I'm pasting everything in. I'm pasting the style in. I don't want to waste my time. And now I'm just working a little bit with the, uh, what's called a spacing and the padding, just to make sure it looks professional. But guys, this is really it. Uh, these are two modules that I just designed. They're done now. And um, I'll actually show you a, a replay this uh, account where I actually have the page when it's all done and it looks a little bit different than what you're seeing right now but this is inside of my replay account because I changed a few things afterwards but you can see the section here all done with the three reasons why and they're really nice you know 2x caffeine 15x more blah 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 natural juice is nothing artificial that was the section we worked with then I added in these things in the ingredient list. But if you go down here, you can see our comparison and how I ended up designing it in the end where I actually added in the product. And you can see here uh, the specific things that are making proper 
a while better. Uh, and this is what they designed, so I just read it everything in the same way they did. So you can see that it is possible to make beautiful pages, even like what the top brands are doing. Um, and yeah, the review section ended up looking a little bit different, but this is so easy. And there's, I mean, there's a video, like I said, it's really important, but these are so easy. You can find it under components and you can go under uh, reviews. You can find it here You can go up in the library and you go into the marketplace and you can find things in there and you can find the reviews you're looking for, the sections you're looking for. So you don't need to hack everything out yourself. You don't need to be an inventor of great things, right? So you can just copy paste that in there and just design it a little bit differently, right? So anyway, guys, that's how you do it. Um, super, super easy. I hope this was uh, useful. This was a long video, but it was very helpful for you to understand how to do the comparison table and how to do uh, a nice design for the product section here. So anyway, that's it.